of our legendary racing heritage. All of our pioneering four-wheel drive experience come together in one amazing new vehicle. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Peng and you're watching the HTV Evening Highlights. Fund manager says the time is ripe for GLCs to sell their offshore assets. This as news broke of pension fund KWAP's plan to sell an office building in central London for 1.7 billion ringgit. Arika Capital Executive Director Danny Wong told the HTV that this is the right time for GLCs to take advantage of the market while the ringgit remains lower against the US dollar. He notes that developed markets like the UK have seen asset prices shooting up recently, but the high prices may not last long. Meanwhile, MIDF Research believes that KWAP's plan is also a sign of market perception that the ringgit is finally finding a bottom. It says local funds repatriating their capital to Malaysia are taking advantage of the ringgit's weakness while they can to realise currency translation gains. MIDF adds that despite oil prices continuing to plunge and continuous net selling by foreign investors in Malaysia equities, the ringgit hasn't seen much change. It believes that the local currency will stage a rebound in 2016. KWAP is reportedly planning to sell the office building for a price that's 25.6% higher than what it paid for in 2013. The pension fund is Malaysia's second largest and has about 120 billion ringgit worth of assets. Dato Ahmad Maslan, the man in the news for that two jobs comment, has gone back to familiar territory, defending the GST. The MITI deputy minister says the consumption tax helped save the economy as oil revenue slumped. Kita tahu bahawa GST menyelamatkan ekonomi negara apabila kita kehilangan 30 bilion uh, daripada sumber uh, <coughs> petroleum dan hasil petroleum. Hasil GST tahun hadapan 39 bilion. Ada kemungkinan 30 bilion yang kita uh, kehilangan itu akan bertambah akibat daripada harga minyak yang uh, masih lagi di peringkat rendah. Putrajaya rolled out the GST in April. Falling crude oil prices have been eating away at the country's fiscal revenue and currency reserves. Earlier this month, PM Dato Sri Najib Raza said that the oil slump would result in a 30 billion ringgit shortfall in government revenue next year. Economic saviour or not, the GST has had a domino effect on domestic consumption. Consortium Transnational says the consumption tax, in addition to the weak ringgit, is pushing up operation costs. And it's warning that bus operators could sink into the red next year if they don't get a fare hike. Chairman and MD Tan Sri Muhammad Natsmi Muhammad Saleh says a hike would help offset the burden related to purchase of spare parts and phasing out of old buses. Earlier this year, the government approved a hike in bus fares. It then backpedaled on the decision as Malaysians grappled with the increase in the cost of living. But Natsmi says a fare hike isn't an option. He says companies like Transnational are having a difficult time coping with costs and could record losses next year. For its third quarter ended September, Transnational's net profit fell 24%, while revenue slipped about 11%. For the cumulative nine months, earnings slumped by over 50%, revenue declined 25%. At the close, Transnational fell 8% to 22 cent, giving it a market cap of about 97 million ringgit. Meanwhile, a group of taxi drivers have filed a lawsuit against the Land Public Transport Commission, or SPAD. They say that they're facing unfair competition from ride-sharing service providers and want their rivals banned for good. The taxi drivers are applying for a court order to compel SPAD to declare Uber and GrabCar illegal. They say that these services don't fall under any category of commercial vehicles as listed by SPAD. So the commission should take serious action against the service providers. The cabbies also plan to file a lawsuit against the MCMC to block the use of Uber and Grab car apps. They claim that they have lost almost 60% of their daily income to such operators. And that wraps up the evening highlights. I'm Jacqueline Peng. Thank you for watching.